I actually want you to expand on, you know, the monetization. Now you're talking really about scaling a business. You know, it starts off, say it as a hobby is something to do when there's nothing to do. It grows into a brand. Now it's a business, it's an entire company. There's a lot of different moving pieces to it. You mentioned things like SOPs and an editing process and a team and hiring, right? Talk about now the different branches of monetization at this level, just to show maximum skill. It grows from what it was to what it is now. How can those uh, aspiring to be in a similar seat really reach scale through different branches of monetization? Um, I really think it's about stewardship taking hold of what you have, like enjoying the season when you are low in numbers, you know what I'm saying? Making that deep connection with your audience um, and then just being consistent. Your people don't want a perfect video. They just want to see you. Just like you just posted this, Nikki. Yep. You just posted a video like this and it was so dope when I reshared it and I was like, dang, man, like this is so true. It's like a relationship with somebody. They just want to spend time with you. You know what I mean? If you never post, they can't spend time with you. Even if it's mm -hmm. out of order or, you know, not exactly what you intended, it's better 80% out instead of 100% in your head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, my, my situation is, you know, Patreon, you know, members, AdSense, right? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, and then TikTok. But, you know, they don't really pay that much. My, my biggest bag is, is from, um, from brand deals. You know what I'm saying? We have merch, we have e-courses, and I do a lot of mentorship and consulting. So um, I mentor a lot of, you know, creators who they can't figure out the difference between who they are and what they make. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and they, they get frustrated by trying to be who, become it, who they're becoming now. And that doesn't make a, a whole bunch of money, but it should because I'm freaking killing it you know what i'm saying <laughs> um no because people walk out and they're like they they didn't know who they were right right and then they walk out with a better identity right and so they they end up being more consistent and not so emotional about their creative process mm -hmm. now That's good. yeah you so we're, we're tapping into the creator economy with this conversation um and i like how you broke it down with with the Patreon and the AdSense, uh, looking looking where the creator economy is going, right? What is something that you see yourself kind of doubling down on? Like, you know, we, we've covered here where people don't look at merch, they look at it as like a fashion line. They don't look at it as a YouTube channel. They're now pitching it all to Netflix, Hulu, and 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 other things like that. Where do you see for yourself uh, going to further the creator economy? I think for me, the next scale is recreation of um, myself and other people, right? I think people want to know how to, you know, uh, they want to take a course that teaches them how to make family content, right? Yeah. Because it is that Instagrammable moment with your kids and everybody's, you know, all lotioned up, you know what I'm saying? Looking all clean with the, you know, Easter outfit. Um, and so they want to recreate that. And I think the value for me is going to be able to be educating and trying to give people what we didn't have. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's one level. Um, and I think events obviously is going to be the, the, the biggest thing for us. Uh, and so, you know, right now, you know, we're working on a fatherhood conference, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't mention anybody who's going to be in there yet, but uh, it's looking really good. You know what I mean? So uh, we're working on that as well. Oh, and just not even for income, but just for connection. Um, on Earth Day, April 22nd, we are doing um, Walk for Earth Day event. It's a global event. And so anybody can walk on Earth Day. You just got to sign up at walkforearthday.com. But we want to create a community of people that, uh, want to be connected to something outside of, you know, uh, just, you know, Hey, church and work and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? I know people want to be connected to, to us in a specific way, but, um, equipping fathers, giving hope to mothers and inspiring children, it has to be beyond just these videos. Like it has to be practical and we need to get in face to face with some people.